videos every day up until Christmas in the month of December. This is, believe it or not, not part of my morning routine at all. I have just gotten up. I am going to Women's Institute Christmas dinner this evening. For any of you who watched my Blogmas videos last year, you will know that the Women's Institute group that I belong to had a hat competition. I made a felted Australian Christmas dinner. <laughs> Uh, for and had it like a fascinator last year but this year we are having a masquerade theme so what I have done is I have just taken some cling film and put it on my face and drawn kind of the outline of where my eyes are and my nose is because I'm going to make myself a masquerade mask now this will not be any ordinary masquerade mask my wi as i think are others looking at the wi life seem quite fascinated with the prospect of using our old brassiers for upcycling so i'm going to make my masquerade mask out of a brassiere stay tuned <laughs> so as you can see this is kind of the concept that i thought i would have with with the bra as my masquerade mask, which is gonna be a little bit difficult because where I need to see from, there is an underwire. <laughs> oh, I feel like such a twit. <laughs> um, so I need to try and work out how to cut along here and maintain the shape of the bra so you can still see what's happening. Um, but yeah. So I'm hoping that's where the saran, or saran wrap, that's what Americans call it, sing, cling film, cling, cling film comes into, into play. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm um, having trouble seeing you. Ah, oh, there we go. I can see out of the, I can see out of the lace here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to see if I can put the cling film across there and get an outline for my eye holes. <laughs> My mad thought with all of this is that the cling film would give me a basic outline of where I could put my holes <laughs> for my eyes. I'm not sure that it's going to work that way. So as you can see, I've got one eye hole drawn and uh, I'll get that cut out and then I'll do the other one. So that one's done. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to go to be honest, but we'll crack on and keep having a go and see if we can make this thing work. So I'm doing this bit in retrospect because it was all a bit hectic yesterday afternoon. I just didn't fit in filming as well as making the mask, but I just wanted to show you what I used. So I used these stick on Diamante stickers and then I had uh, some black pearl as well. Not very many of those really, just a little bit. And then I used, oops, and then I also used these white pearl stick-on stickers as well. And then around the outside of the brassiere, I stitched the a set just like this of fairy lights. I wasn't sure um, how many of these I would use. But yeah, I stitched one set of, or Christmas lights as they call them. So these were from Home Bargains and these were from Poundland. I think these may have been 59p a sheet. And they managed mostly managed to stay on the whole evening, which was really good. And this is my mask all done. So I blinged it up <laughs> with <laughs> diamantes and pearls and uh, yeah, um, some fairy lights. <laughs> I'm an absolute nutter, but yeah, I have a masquerade mask made out of a bra. Great repurposing. Um, yeah, I might <laughs> take some more footage later on. I might not. <laughs> it's falling down. <laughs> oh gosh, what a nutter. It's, um, it's made particularly heavy at the moment, but the fact that the, the thing for the battery is... Uh, hanging down my back <laughs> so it's tracking it down <laughs> but yeah there, there. there's my mask <laughs> there you have it <laughs> 